The typhoon comes at an interesting time as a major climate change conference gets underway in Poland. On the opening day, the Philippines climate change commissioner fought back tears as he spoke. And the devastation is staggering. I struggle to find words even for the images that we see on the news coverage. Up to this hour, I agonize, waiting for word to the fate of my very own relatives. What gives me renewed strength and great relief is that my own brother has communicated to us and he had survived. The meeting in Poland has set a goal to reach a wide-ranging agreement by 2015, and we'll be watching this coming week to see what progress is made. CCTV's Rowie Ruttenberg is there. The sticking points will likely be the same. Developed countries will call for an equal share of the responsibility. They say everyone who pollutes must pay and must make a similar commitment to the reduction of carbon emissions. The developing countries will argue that the developed countries for years polluted as they developed. And if the developing countries now make a similar commitment, a too strong of a commitment, that will hurt their prospects of further growth. Now, uh, uh, there is sign of greater cooperation between the world's two biggest polluters, China and the U.S. In April, the U.S. Uh, Secretary of State, uh, John Kerry, in his visit to Beijing, created, along with his Chinese counterparts, the China-U.S. Working Group on Climate Change. And when the two presidents, Barack Obama and Xi Jinping, met in California, they signed an arguably extensive agreement, and some say that suggests the tone at this year's COP gathering might be different as the U.S. and China effectively represent the two sides. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Warsaw.